Girl, God. Yeah. Uh, oh, hello? my God. We can't see your Okay, hold we on. We can't see your face, babe. Okay, hold on. You, you got to turn, turn the lights, lights on. on. Oh, my God. I can't believe you finally uh. Damn. Where's no one where are you at? Where well, there's no light. Okay. Okay. All right, bring the camera down so we can see your face. Okay. Uh, All my right, name what's is your Gil. name, babe? Gil, where you calling me from? And how old are you? Wait seven seconds. I'm from Detroit. I'm 50. Yes. Okay. You live in Detroit? Okay. Gil, you sound okay. Gil, 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 Detroit 50. What do you do for a living and what's your zodiac sign? Wait seven seconds. I've been in radio broadcasting for 29 years. I built my own production company called Build My Way Media. And my sign is Capricorn. Capricorn. Do you have any kids? If so, how many? And then by how many women? Wait, um, I have one daughter. She's 28. Um, she had my grandson three years ago. Okay. I never have been you married. Have you ever been married, Gil? Never been married. Like, All right, you definitely have a radio voice. So this is Gil Detroit, 50, radio host Capricorn. One daughter, um, that's 28. Um, let's do it. What kind of woman are you looking for, Gil? Wait seven seconds. Um, I want a woman that's um, God-fearing and to be herself. Um, I want her to um, be able to to know that I'm a man that communicates. Cause I know most women say men don't know how. I believe I'm a great communicator. Um, the last young lady said she was looking for an entrepreneur. Um, I built my company off of photography. Um, I was in the clubs every night, but now that I'm not doing that, I built my own line streaming service and it took me two years to do that um and i just want real loyalty real love like nothing artificial like uh, my daughter's mother passed away three years ago so i uh some people won't probably understand when i say this um when a, a man truly loves a woman and and he doesn't have eyes for other women he won't play games um it's just hard because the world today call all men like me simps because i'm still the dude that's gonna open the door i like what she said about the the, the roles there's no roles my mother taught me how to cook she taught me how to clean she taught me how to be responsible my father made sure I cut the grass every week. So in this superficial world, it's kind of hard to find that right one, especially in this industry. And I've traveled a lot. I used to um, work in LA for Kathy Hughes, Radio One, TV One. I um, worked at 100.3 to beat at one time. Um, I've tried, I did a little bit of traveling where I'm happy with myself, but I do believe Believe God gonna send the right person. I just don't know when or where. Doesn't know when or where. Okay, we yeah. hear you, Gil. Okay, so you want a real one. So what are your deal breakers? Wait seven seconds. Um, because I'm an understanding person, I don't really have a deal breaker. I just think that a lot of women haven't been able to take care of themselves because of the decisions that they've made. And as long as you're doing your best and you're honest, 
I think I could be with anybody. But some people will take advantage of the kindness. And I guess it, it's kind of hard to walk away because I think that I can help everybody. And I think that's where my downfall is. You think that yeah. you can help everybody and that's yeah. your downfall. Okay. Um, but what do you mean that women can't take care of themselves because of their choices? Can you elaborate on that point? Wait seven seconds. Um, okay. If you was to ask a man how he thinks instead of how he feels, women base their life on how they feel. And I base my life as a man on how I think. I do have feelings, but it has to make sense. Because when I love you, I love you. I'm gonna do what's necessary to love that woman. Um, when you want to be a, just, just a power, just saying for the instance, a power couple. And I'm building, like I understood everything that she was going through. And when she was talking, I'm like, okay. I'm like, she got two kids, my baby grown. So it's kind of like, she got a 13 year old in this. So everybody got something that they have to deal with. But at the same time, I guess if it was a deal breaker, it would probably be, will I have to deal with the other men that didn't want to handle their responsibilities with their child? Because I think if I was to say, or anybody was to say about me, I'm a good dad. I would be a, my stepkids. You know, even though I wasn't married, they, they're my kids. You know what I mean? They call me daddy, you know? So it's kind of like, I just want to make sure that that person had everything in order so you don't have to deal with any outside interferences. That would be a deal breaker for me, outside interferences. That, that, yeah. that would be a deal breaker for you. All right, so this is Gil Detroit. 50, what's the age range you would date, Gil? Wait seven seconds. Um, um, three years younger, three years older. I don't want to go past. Okay. Um, it, I, don't, I wouldn't go past that because I, I think it's disrespectful if I'm 50 and I'm dating somebody 12 years younger than me. Like, I think it's stages in life. There are stages that we, we should be able to meet to acquire in, in life. All right. So the goal, his um, at, um, ideal goal, age goal is 47 to 53. Um, does the woman have to look a certain way? Wait seven seconds. I'm going to be honest. Um, I, I, I like natural beauty. I think, I think all women are beautiful. I just think that the world has made it uh, superficial that you have to look a certain way. And I think based off maybe where she came from or what she think that she had to do, um, I think God already made you the way you're supposed to be. Everything else is just enhancement. Like, you're a beautiful woman. So what you do to yourself is just enhancement. Does that make sense? You know, how you out here, you get all the girls, all the girls are throwing panties at you right now, Gil. They done took their pennies off and threw it to okay. their phone. You can't see it. But there's just pennies flying to the phone. You you speaking all the language yeah. the ladies want to hear, child. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, what about money, Gil? Does she gotta make a certain amount of money? Wait seven seconds. Um, like the young lady just said, like if you're a hustler and an entrepreneur, uh being an entrepreneur, you know that you have to Okay, have a good day. Thank you, I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Um, if you are a, a real man and you know about how this life is for real, um, two entrepreneurs is gonna make it happen. My thing is, is I'm not going, I, I'm my father's son. So I, if I can give you a little bit of background, my mother came came home crying one day from her job and my dad told her she never had to go back and work for anybody else again. And she started her company. 
So I come out of a house of entrepreneurship. My father would not, not allow my mother to go to a place where she was upset or allow her to be upset. So does she have to make a certain amount of money right now? No, it's my job to be able to hold that down. Um, can we collab, do a collaboration and could I help her with, with her photography business? Most definitely. Could I help you with your branding and what you're doing? Most definitely. Because I do a lot. I make my own backdrops, my own flyers, my own tickets. I rent out my own clubs. I think that's, um, you have to be able to challenge yourself. So no, she does not have to make a certain amount of money right now, no. So you, you're, you're um, referring a lot to the last caller, um, Randa. Panda, did you like I mean, her? I like some of the things that she was saying. I, I was just, I'm using her as the example because she was right before me. Like, um, I just hit the button. I hit the button a couple times on you. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while because I noticed that you have a lot of people on your platform and I think it's wonderful. And sometimes I'm not hitting on you or nothing like that. I'm just saying sometimes you see your match in what they do. Like, you're kind of identical to what I do. But I wouldn't know if you was my match. Just to say, just speaking broadly, that's all. Oh. OK, OK, fair enough. Okay, Gail, let's see Kendra Kendra Kendra. Can. Okay. That's when you stand up okay. and we see your full body. We got to My legs? Okay, I got to let me push it back some more. How far I got to go? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we see you, Gil. No, we got you, Gil. We see you, Gil. We got you, Gil. Okay. So this is Gil Detroit who's 50, um, radio host Capricorn, one daughter that's 28. Um, when was your last relationship, Gil? Wait seven seconds. I'm actually in a friendship right now. You're in a friendship right now. What does that mean, Gil? My friend, I, I care for her, but I'm not sure if I'm the one for her. So is that why you're here looking for somebody? It's else? not that I'm looking. It's just I'm not married. I'm not married yet. Oh, well, you're open. I mean, you're open to yes, the I, other people. That's the reason why you would come on my show. Wait seven seconds. So, but you currently have uh, somebody you're having sex no. with. Because I'm assuming this friend is a friend with benefits. Okay, so we got we got to follow a seven second rule because Instagram okay. overlaps right now. But I want to be clear. So she's a friend, and you're not sleeping with her. Then why did you bring her up when I asked you when was your last okay. relationship? Wait seven seconds. Okay, well because she is a friend, um, and she is a friend. And sometimes you do have to fall back from certain relations to see how things are going to go. Um, I'm going to just be honest. So we still deal with each other, but not in a sexual manner. Okay. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Wait seven seconds. You don't have to answer. I can answer. It's been over two years. Over two years, why haven't, I mean, um, if you don't mind, why haven't you had sex in two years? Wait seven seconds. Loyal. Loyal to me, loyal to my, loyal to my dream. Um, when you, when you out in the world and you, and you had a lot of different relationships, something got to give. And when the pandemic came, it changes a lot because it's only me. Like, 
my grandson only going to be able to depend on me. And I have to be very careful with my body. I got to be very careful with who I in, in, engage with. Uh, I believe in spiritual um, connections to where everybody can't touch me. Everybody can't be in the same room with me. Um, you have to be very careful with your body and people think um, that's weak, but I'd rather be celibate right now than to be touching somebody that I don't have no business for a simple pleasure. I don't have time for that. I got to live a long life. And yes, in my early years, it, it had been, I got hurt, her, her, and her. But when you grow up, you don't want that life no more. You have to wait on the, that's the one regret I got in my life. I'd rather have waited for the right person. You have to wait for that right connection. We only got this one life that we live and it's not about sex all the time. Can I, can, can, if I get sick, will you be able to take care of me? If you get sick, can I take care of you? It, it, it's, it's more to it than sex right now. It's, it's, this, the rest, this is the second half of my life. I got more days behind me than I do ahead of me. So I have to be careful with that. Okay, okay, okay. So you gotta be careful with that. All right, so are you waiting for a relationship or a marriage Not before necessarily. you be intimate again? Okay. Wait seven seconds. Wait Not seven necessarily. Seconds. Can you turn off the music in the background? There's music in the background. Can you turn off the music? Now I'm going to ask the question again properly. Okay. All right. All right. So the question is, are you waiting for marriage for intimacy? Wait seven seconds. Uh, not necessarily. And not to even um put her business out there like that, but... She was married before. I've never been married. And, and some people, when they have been married, the how they were with that other person, I am not. So three years is a small turnaround while you're still learning a person, especially at our age. You have to be careful. I have a daughter. And um, I have to be her example. So, so I can no longer engage in certain things that's not beneficial to my life as a as a single father. It has okay. it has to be the right example. Okay. Okay. Gil, what are three flaws you have to work on? Wait seven seconds before you answer. Um, three flaws, uh, my patience, um, my weight and, and, um, I guess I would say, uh, learning to listen a little bit more before I respond. Okay. And, um, why would a woman be lucky to be with you, Gil? Wait seven um, seconds. She wouldn't be lucky. She would be blessed. Um, she would be blessed to have me because I'm genuine in my efforts. I'm genuine in what I do and who I am. Um, I just would want that person to, to be 100 with themselves and be loyal to themselves. I'm loyal to me. And you can kind of tell if a person is not loyal to themselves. You can tell by how they speak, how they carry themselves, if they not if they're not responsive, if you ask them something. So I'm more of a conversationist. Like I would like to have the conversation with the person because my grandfather always told me a person to tell on themselves. All you gotta do is just listen. So just listen to what, what I would listen to what you say. I would listen to any woman. I would listen to what they're saying. And then um, if it was beneficial for both of us, I will pursue that person. I've never been to prison. 
I've never done anything that, to hurt, harm anybody. So it's more, more or less like we living in a world where you got to be a certain way or do something. I'm not like that. So. Okay. Gil, do you want her to be no, in I'm Detroit? No, I'm a traveler. I'll go, I'll go anywhere. Okay. All right. So this is Gil, Detroit, 50, 20, um, excuse me. Um, is a radio host. Capricorn has one daughter that's 28, never married. He'll date between 47 and 53. You don't care how much money no. she makes, correct? Because, because like her, her money is her money. What she chooses to do with her money is her business. Like, as as I'm shopping for my new home, that's mine. Was mine is yours. But at the end of the day, like, just be honest. Like, you know. Keep your money, you know, just if you want to help, you know, put into Built My Way Media, you know, come on. But if not, okay, you know, because <laughs> it's my dream. I'm not asking anybody to fund my dream. I'm, I, I don't think that's fair. But if it's in her heart to want to do, then yes, like we can do whatever. Gotcha. All right, Gil, how can the woman reach out to you? Oh, that's a good question. Well, just get my phone number. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I won't do that. I don't recommend uh, doing my, that. My, I mean, she could DM you. My Instagram she could DM you page is Built My Way Media. Built My Way Media. Built My Way Media. For the ladies that are interested, 47 to 53 is the age range. And you don't care if she has kids. No, I don't mind. Me, I mean, right? you know, like, okay, so I'm going I'm to say I don't mind. Mind. The reason I'm gonna say I don't mind is because, you know, at one time I had kids, but right now, like I said, my daughter is grown. I deal with my grandson, but other than that, I don't care. Okay. All right. Well, Gil, you keep me posted how it goes, babe. Arrival.